Hey and welcome back to another reading. Today's reading is going to be slightly different to my usual types of readings. This is going to be about narcissistic situations that many of you may have been stuck within. This is going to be about toxic situations and so for, for most of you if you normally watch my channel about a divine union this isn't going to be related to that unless of course it does resonate even uh, within that union but for the most part um, this is something different to normal. So let's dive deep. What do you need to know? So we have the Ace of, sorry, the Magician, the number one card. This is someone that could have literally been trying to do spell work on you with the Magician here. Um, I'm just getting this image of this It could be some of your personal items. Someone was trying to do some sort of black magic on you. Someone was um, believing that they were some sort of magician, that they were some sort of master at um, creating what they wanted. This is smoke and mirrors as well. You know, like the magician... Um, it's all about doing these tricks. Um, they had many tricks up their sleeve where they were trying to deceive you. They were trying to gaslight you. Um, whilst having these deceptive motives, hidden agendas behind the scenes. So this is someone who believed that they were this master of deception or getting whatever they wanted through means of deception. But when it came to you, they had no idea of your light. They had no idea who you truly are with this lantern in the background. Um, for some of you, you are on this path and but you've had a lot of struggles you've experienced a lot of energy vampires you've experienced a lot of people that were holding you back or trying to dim your light envious of your light a lot of struggles um a lot of light workers go through these struggles and um so you may have been unsure of yourself when you met this person you may not have fully realized your power, the power of love. You may not have fully realized who you truly are and that you are here on this divine mission and you are this indestructible light, this indestructible um, love. But this person, they could see this, they could sense this within you, but they knew that you couldn't see it within yourself. So they felt that um, it would be easy to deceive you and siphon your energy, siphon your light. I'm just seeing his hand here. Um, it looks like a pentagram on it, but um, I'm seeing it like a web as well. They were trying to get you caught up in a web with them. So this, for some of you, this could be someone who was aggressive or had lots of threats um, to keep you caught up in their web and caught up in the fog of illusion because this person was gaslighting you, deceiving you, um, playing all, the, all these tricks in their book. And they were trying to siphon everything from you, your energy, from your heart, um, your finances, your life force, so they were deceptive with their words, with their actions. We have the four of wands. So this was meant to happen, okay? To me, the Four of Wands represents a doorway, a gateway, a checkpoint on your soul path. You encountered this person because going through all of the struggles, and for some, that sounds like an understatement, an understatement, okay? Um, going through the struggles, this was like the most challenging, difficult experience of your whole life. 
um, it was causing you to become a million times stronger. You may have needed to create your own skills here, okay? This is your own self-mastery and you coming into your own personal empowerment and um, going through that checkpoint, that doorway into really knowing who you are now. And you are that indestructible light. Some of you would have faced your biggest, deepest, darkest fears. You needed to go through the fire, the flames to come out the other side. I'm seeing like the phoenix, the death of your fears, the death of um, your insecurities, the death of you holding yourself back because of some self-esteem issues. Um, you really had to go through the fire. And as I said, the death of the old, this candle's just gone out. And there's all this smoke coming up from it. You can't see it now. But yes, yeah, smoke and mirrors. But um, through this situation, you have gone through towel moments. But it was that towel moment is always a blessing in disguise. It was the crumbling of that which was holding you back, fears, wounds, everything would have really been brought to the forefront. And um, this is the universe, your soul family cheering you on because you've either reached this freedom, this liberation from this person, from this situation, from your own blocks and wounds, or you're very soon um, on the way to that. The way to overcome these narcissistic people and situations is to genuinely reach a place of fearlessness. And that is by turning to the divine. That is by knowing that the divine always has your back. This is somewhat to do with the law of attraction as well. Whatever you believe is what you manifest. If you are unaffected by this person or these people, if you're unafraid, if you're in your power, if you go no contact, if you cut off the narcissistic supply and they're genuinely not getting anything from you, because a lot of this is a psychic bond. So, you know, even if you're at a distance from them, but you're still really afraid or really affected by how they try and amp up really, really affecting you in negative ways, if you cut them off. Um, it's a it's a psychic bond. They they can tell how you're feeling. If the, if they can make you feel terrible, they will siphon all of that dark energy um, and feed off of that. Um, but if you genuinely are unaffected, they can tell psychically that they're getting nothing. They can't take any of your energy. And then they're forced to have to find their um, negative source of supply elsewhere. So I see with this rowing, this is you moving away from this situation. This is you seeing the light. And, this, and that seeing the light is you seeing who you truly are. And um, yeah, coming into that indestructible light. This was all to, to get you to really um, become close with the divine, become one with God and the divine. And um, because when we're in a lot of adversity, we often turn to a higher power. For some of you, you felt really powerless to begin with, like really afraid. You didn't know what to do. You were caught up in that web. So you you had to surrender, you had to look to a higher power and your prayers were answered or are being answered. And you are reaching that liberation. So we have the Nine of Swords. This is anxiety. Okay, sleepless nights. Um, but again, I'm seeing this as 
empowerment. You are, this is you and your soul family. Uh, like punching the air with that empowerment. But yeah, traditionally the nine of swords is immense anxiety. This is, this could be what you are generally feeling before you even met the narcissist. Or for some of you, it could be a family member. So you've always kind of been in that situation. But a lot of anxiety. This anxiety, this causes an overactive mind, you know, being caught up in um, those thoughts, the thought patterns, the fears. It's like a cloud of illusion, a, a cloud that you can't see beyond surrounds you. And this was really holding you back from your path, which you discover through connecting with your heart. So this is why this person was trying to weave this web of deceit and some of their tactics could have been building you up to then um, crash you down. Um, and a lot of mental manipulation here to keep you uh, dazed, confused, fearful, traumatized, to keep you in that mess, in that chaos of your mind, in the darkness. Because they knew that when you were in the darkness, of your own mind, your own fears, you wouldn't be able to see the light, you wouldn't be able to see clearly. So again, some of you, you really hit rock bottom in terms of feeling so despairing, so powerless, um, so much suffering that it inspired you. It, it, you couldn't stand that suffering any longer. You couldn't handle that suffering that pain, that fear any longer. So this is what really caused you to dive deep, to pray out to God, to pray to the divine. And the divine, again, answered your prayer or is answering your prayer. You started looking, even if it was subconsciously, you started looking in the right direction to the light. And then you you were able to receive the light. The light could come towards you and free you or is freeing you from this situation. And overall, it's just clearing out um, all of this more, perhaps more generalized anxiety, fears, wounds, feeling unsafe to shine your light. For some of you, you broke free from this person. You may have had to play along and you were hiding away in your shell. Um, this person was like getting a sledgehammer, trying to um, absolutely obliterate your boundaries and pull you out of that shell because they were wanting to siphon all of your light. But subconsciously, obviously, you are in self-protective mode, um, survival mode. So those walls were thickening around you and you felt very imprisoned by that. You felt, de um, you felt paralyzed by that because in such a dense vibration, there's a lack of movement in many ways, but within that shell, I'm seeing that spirit was helping you. The divine God was um, building up your strength. You may have felt like you had to go along with the narcissist deceptions and make out that you were oblivious to who they really were for a long time. And this person, they felt like they were deceiving you. One of the main reasons why they despise you, if, you know, you are in this process of breaking free or have broken free from this person, one of the reasons why they absolutely despise you is because they had this arrogance thinking that they were um, this smoke and mirrors and deceiving you. 
But what they can't stand is that actually, because you are in survival mode, you are actually just playing along with their narrative and they thought they were tricking you. But for in many cases, you really started to really know how evil this person is. And so they can't stand that you were, in their eyes, you were deceiving them, but you were just in that survival mode and you weren't allowing this person to know that deep inside that shell, in that, in your soul, you were becoming so much of that strength, that light. And many of you, you were just building yourself up to the time, to the right point where you feel like you could break free, that you could feel like you could withstand the absolute, absolute chaos and devastation that this person was tr going to try and wreak, you know, wreak havoc upon your life when you break free, because that's what they do. When they when they've lost control of you, they often try and therefore control other people's perceptions of you with smear campaigns. They try. This person was absolutely seething with anger and therefore trying to destroy your life because they're so entitled. If you break break free from them or broke free from them, they feel like you are taking away what is theirs. They see you as like theirs. They see your light, your finances, anything and everything that you had to offer, they see it as theirs. And how dare you take that away from them? How dare you stand up to me? How dare you have human rights? Um, how dare you be apart from me? Because this person wants you to be an extension of them. This is why some of them can be very aggressive. They can use threats and intimidation to get you to comply, to get you to do uh, what they want you to do, basically work for them, basically in some cases almost be like their slave um, without speaking back without they want to disempower you and make you so afraid that you basically go along with and do whatever they want and then for some of you you really are breaking free if you're stuck currently in this situation keep praying to the divine um and god will answer and show you that you are indestructible Anything, quote unquote, that is destroyed post-narcissistic relationship through smear campaigns is that which wasn't serving you anyway. For many of you, this is that huge tower moment that is to destroy anything that was holding you back from your true path, from your true light. Um, and many of you, you are coming out the other end or you've even got to that point where you are that bright shining light you know you're indestructible you know that spirit has your back many of you have gone through or are going through this experience to know at the other end that spirit has your back and that you are protected some of you may even meet your soul tribe as you break free or they may even help you break free from this prison that you found yourself in temporarily. Yeah, Queen of Cups. And the um, Page of Pentacles. So Queen of Cups, this is that self-love. You are this beautiful divine being, whether you're divine feminine or divine masculine. You are this incredible person. You are this candle, this bright shining light. This is you coming into your abundance. You've always been very abundant. This person recognized this within you. And they wanted to take this all away from you. They were so entitled that for some crazy reason, they 
believed that they were entitled to everything that you'd worked so hard to create. This is that freedom. Again, look, it's almost like this cellar is a prison. This was that within those walls within you, those protective walls, this situation is also making you realize your worth because this is this represents rock bottom okay some of you you had to reach that rock bottom to make you realize wow i i know i deserve so much better than this situation than this person so this was you drinking the self love for some of you because many of you watch my channel because of a divine connection for some of you your your divine counterpart came into your life to help bring you your truth to know that you are so loved that you are that love that you are incredible so this was within yourself for some of you if it resonates this was you drinking that champagne or that wine this is you drinking that love receiving that cup from your divine partner that love and this was the love this was the light that you needed this was for some of you this is from god um it's all from god you know whether it's through a divine partner or or um through you just receiving all of this love this enlightenment from god this is you drinking up that high vibration the infinite power of love so that you are becoming that infinite power within this is you knowing your worth this is you knowing your abundance you may have had to temporarily protect yourself and hide um that you are becoming powerful and strong secretly within again um storing up all of this light all of this infinite power of love so that then when the time was right you could face this narcissist head on in terms of getting the hell out of there and you had you have that protection of the love of the high vibration the indestructible power of love surrounding you so that um the narcissist and anyone involved like flying monkeys anyone that they recruit to try and take you down they cannot reach you in fact they are burnt out in the flames of the love the high vibration that you are they end up destroying themselves exposing themselves because you've become this bright shining light shining brightly upon them um revealing them Okay, and this isn't about trying to go out and purposely exposing them because that's just going to be pouring fuel on the fire. But um, you are a divine, indestructible being. You're here for this incredible purpose. And the these lower entities, these evil entities, was trying to use the narcissist and these situations to try and... Um, imprison you and keep you stuck and not on your path but ultimately the bigger picture the bigger reason why this all happened is to strengthen you to the point of being indestructible knowing that feeling that being that energy that truth of who you really are so yeah what really shocked the narcissist is uh there came a point that tipping point where you were felt you felt you were ready you are ready to get into action. This is like um, soul tribe coming into your life or your ancestors really racing towards you. This is you gearing yourself up with the help of your soul family, soul tribe, re ready to go to battle, so to speak. Again, um, walking away, going no contact, cutting off that supply of narcissistic supply freezing them out and um yeah the, the narcissist for some of you this is really this really really shocked them 
and they're like blindsided because they were like they never knew your strength they never knew who you truly were i mean they could see that you have all this light but they felt that you were naive they felt that you couldn't see the truth they thought that you were um, believe in their deceptions you may have been initially but very quickly you caught on because you're deeply psychic you're of the light so you can see through people um yeah this person they couldn't believe that uh really you are this indestructible strength because one of the the many tricks up their sleeve was to try and um eat away all of your self-esteem knock your confidence lower your self-esteem so again they have this aim of trying to get you to look up to them or look to them for your self-worth and approval but for many of you you are like this goddess energy of this queen of cups and many of you were like I know this person's crazy because they honestly think that I am going to try and look to them for approval and for a sense of self-worth. Many of you secretly you could see and you were already planning your escape. All of this um, was helping you become that self-master of your energies, of your power of love. This was, yeah, you could have definitely gone through financial abuse. This is one of the most common things out of many forms of abuse in narcissistic situations. And again, these people are so entitled that even though you're the one creating all of this wealth, um, they still genuinely believe that they deserve this money that it's theirs um this is you coming back into the abundance of who you truly are this is you not only coming back into abundance but receiving your gifts tenfold because now you've broken through so many barriers that this situation caused you to have to confront you had to face your biggest, deepest, darkest fears that you may have had your whole life. This was a divine happening to make you face those fears that you you would have avoided still. But you are forced to face them. And now you've crumbled those fears. You've become uh, the phoenix rising, risen from the ashes. You've become who you truly are. Now you are able to fully receive all of the abundant, the abundance, the love, the high vibration, the really, really positive situations that were destined for you and always yours. Now you're having this absolute wellspring, this so much inflow of this love and abundance and your divine inheritance what you're inheriting what is truly yours so i really really hope this reading has resonated with you very deeply and been very helpful if it has please let me know in the comments give it a thumbs up share it subscribe that all really helps me out with the algorithm thank you so much for joining me here take care bye